Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so it's Monday night. I had my first full day of uh, work, new job, and uh, like actually working, you know, not writing tests and doing courses and all that stuff. And uh, <clears throat> I had supper, and I'm having a I'm having a beer or two. Uh, gonna be going to bed shortly because I'm freaking beat, man. Uh, I'm a little sore too, but uh, whatever. I'll get over that and we'll move on. But listen, you know, uh, all the comments I got, I came home and, you know, I posted the video actually Sunday night with a timer on it to be released Monday morning while I was at work. So when I got home from work, that's when I went and checked out all the comments. And, uh, Thanks to everybody, you know, uh, a lot of support, a lot of uh, congratulations, a lot of guys feeling bad for me. Don't feel bad for me. Um, listen, there's millions of people just like me who are feeling the crunch. It's getting bad. Uh, they just keep piling on shit on, on the little guy and uh, expecting us to keep paying. Uh, I don't know where they think all the money's coming from, but whatever. Anyway, don't feel bad because it's a good thing. Everything's good. Um, it's a good job. It's a well-paying job. And it's going to take the pressure off. It's not only good for me and my family. It's good for the channel. Uh, and I'll tell you why. This is, the, this is a customer's truck. And I think most of you people know that. It's the last one I'm going to have to do for anybody. Um... Because I have a steady paycheck. So the channel is going to get more interesting and more, I hate to use this word, uh, diversified. Because that's all you hear in the freaking news and it, I hate it. So fuck off with that. But by di diversified, I mean it's going to be different vehicles and different things. So, you know, if I want to work on the uh, 50 Ford one day uh, or for three days or whatever, I'll bring it in. I'll do the thing, fire up the engine, break it in, uh, put the box on, do whatever. <clears throat> Pull it out, bring the 56 Chevy in, go to do the four-door to two-door conversion, get that done, rip it out, pull the Model A in, chop the top. Get the body dialed in, put that out, bring the square body in, paint it, do whatever. So there's lots of cool shit here that's going to happen. And it's all my own shit. I don't, I don't have a time limit. I don't have a schedule. I don't have a, you know, I don't have to worry about that stuff. And my bills are still getting paid. So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing all around. Don't feel bad for me. Feel happy for me. Um, <clears throat> so having said that. Uh, I'm not doing anything tonight because uh, I'm sore as hell. I'm going to uh, have another beer or two and then I'm going to bed early because uh, i got to do it all over again tomorrow. And uh, it's going to take me, you know, it's going to take take a few days to get, get into this into this thing. Um, but whatever. You know, it's not the first time. It's just I'm a little older now and uh, I've got to learn the... Uh, <laughs> learn the... The rhythm and the and the, the way things work, I'm getting it already. I've already seen a few things. That, yeah, I'm I'm cool there. It'll be fine. Um, <clears throat> so having said that, yeah, I got to get the uh, the running board brackets dialed in so I can get my running boards in place. Line up the rear fenders, get them installed permanently. Um, get all that done. Maybe pull the front bumper off and that filler panel and finish body working that and get it ready for paint. Um, you know, this thing's got to be out of here in April. So uh, I know there's, when you, you you look under the dash and there's all this SpaghettiOs of wiring hanging down. I've got about eight connections to make and then just tidy up, tidy up the wires and bring them up under the dash. Uh, ninety percent of the wiring is done, so it's it's it looks a lot worse than it is. Uh, the glass is all in, so once the wiring is done, and the fenders, running boards, bumpers done, I got a knee brake cable to put in. Uh, still need a tailgate. That's one thing. 
but that's not a big deal, whatever. And uh, put the interior in and start blasting down the road with this thing and, and get the bugs ironed out of it. And uh, we're good to go. So I'm going to be giving her whenever I can on this thing. Um, you know, it's mostly weekends, but I might do a couple hours at night if I'm, uh, once I get, once I get acclimated to working for a living, as they say, you know, I've been working for a living since I was 14 fucking years old. Okay. So, uh, it's nothing new to me. Uh, I've had to change jobs and do things many times in my life. Just another chapter in the book. So, uh, yeah. So tomorrow, hopefully, after work, I'll uh, come back and uh, we'll do some shit. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, so I was able to ship the truck over, get my welder out of isolation so that I could get after my uh, running board brackets. I've already done the two rear ones. Uh, I had to drill right through because I boxed the frame rails, etc. But the front one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I decided I, I'm going to take some uh, 516 studs or bolts with the heads cut off and uh, weld them into the holes. And then I just have to slip the bracket over and uh, put nuts and lock washers and done. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the truck up in the air <clears throat> so I can get at it. And uh, I'll see what kind of a rig I can set up for the camera so you can see what I'm doing uh we'll see so yeah i'll get the truck up in the air first uh yeah okay <coughs> i'm sure i didn't move anything <laughs> no we're good <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna set up the camera. And we'll see how it. Uh, I can get get an angle on this. All right, so these are all five sixteenths by uh, <clears throat> one inch bolts, and uh, I'm just gonna cut four of them up. These will be pretty hot when I'm done, so I'll let them cool off and I'll show you what I'm doing underneath.
24. There, so I'll go ahead and move the camera around. All right, so <clears throat> oh, <wait a> minute. <laughs> okay, so I know the light only shows the bottom two holes, but there's four there. So I'm going to clean up around the holes, get all the uh, paint off of there so that I can weld, and I'm also going to file the paint. on the inside of the hole so I'll do all four holes and uh, and I can go ahead and weld those studs in anyway that's what I'm gonna do and I'm go, gonna carry on and when they're all done I'll come back and show you what we got all right so I'm just gonna tack these in fit the bracket then I'll Weld them inside.
freaking disaster. Jesus Christ, what's going on? All right, so, of course, the welder always goes for a crap when you're in an awkward position. Anyway, there they are. They're tacked in place. I'm going to get this thing up in the air at a good working height. Um, it's just pain in the butt this way. And I'll get the other side at the same time. But anyway, you get the idea. So the four studs are there. Now, if they're a little crooked, that's fine. I can top them straight. I can also open up these holes a little bit on the uh, running board brackets themselves. So I'm not fighting with it. So it's no big deal. Um, we'll get them on. And uh, yeah, so that's about all I got time for, I think, in this video. So uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up. All right, so uh, there we go. Um, you know, once I get it up in the air, it's going to be so much easier to work on it. Uh, so in the next video, it'll be ready to uh, pull the rear fenders off, get the running boards and braces or brackets in place, I should say, and uh, fit the rear fenders, get them bolted on permanent, and uh, we can move on from there. So it's a it's a thing. It's not not a huge deal, but it's uh, you know you got to go in order. So I get the front fenders there, the running boards line up with that, and then line up the rear fenders after that. So everything's in a nice line. So uh, we can go ahead and do that. Um, this is uh, Wednesday night, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Um, I was just too freaking sore to do anything, man. Um, you know it's a different pace uh, working in the real world as opposed to here. Uh, in here, you know, I take breaks when I want. Uh, if I'm feeling a little bit gassed, I just uh, sit down, have a coffee, and relax for a few minutes. Um, at work, yeah, no, there's none of that. <laughs> it's go, go, go. So uh, I'm on your feet all day, eight hours straight. Um, a lot of it standing at the computer and the mixing station, so that sucks on concrete floors. But whatever, we'll get a mat in there or something, and uh, I'm getting I'm getting better and better at it. So uh, get to move around a bit more and actually spraying is not bad at all. Uh, learning a ton of stuff already, so it's, it's fantastic. And I really like the job. So um, yeah, if you like the content, please subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to continue to put these out. Hopefully every, you know, three a week, two, three a week uh, should be no problem. Um, you know, this one will come out tomorrow, Thursday while I'm at work so uh, when I get home I'll have a bunch of comments to respond to and that's always cool um, yeah so subscribe tell your buddies you know share it and all that stuff help spread the word and uh, don't be shy leave comments um, yeah I guess that's about it so uh, if you're not doing anything else get on the garage and build something man <laughs> later guys